Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we are going to be starting a new little series today uh, about how to work with the Ameritrade APIs. So if you're new here, thanks for joining us. This is what we do. We do micro videos. Uh, one video uh, that usually typically builds upon another. So, all right. So what what is an API? An API is an application programming interface. So basically what that means is, all right, we know you are going to want information from us. We're going to control how you get that information. We're going to make it a little bit easier, and then we're going to get it to you. And we'll go through all these steps. So first off, I think I made this a little challenging. So behind me, so for you, the register is going to be where you're going to want to start. And also it's uh, developer.tdameritrade.com. Fill this in, and of course then after you do it, the login is right beside there. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well actually we can even look at this. So this is getting started. So first you have to create an account. Then what you're going to do is you're going to create an app. And we'll just, uh, just so, so my apps. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. So all right, here we are getting started. Uh, creating a developer account. Then new apps. So right here, uh, when you go to My Apps, there's going to be Add a Button. And you just name it. The only thing that is very important uh, right here is the callback. You can just do the uh, HTTP local host colon 8000. And that's all you need, not anything fancy. So we get that set up, and the verification process goes uh, very quickly. So if you saw that right there, new app when you get to this place. And here is mine and there's gonna be a little bit, a couple of blurred things out here. But this is gonna be your key right here. And we're gonna go through all of this. Um, and we have that set up. Yes, right here. Uh, HTTP localhost 8000. Uh, I'll have that down in the description below uh, if you're not quite sure if you've not seen uh, the Django series and you have no idea what this is referring you can just copy this and place this in here so all right now the API's that we're going to be working with are instruments and this is how this data is going to be returned and we're going to go through all this but right now this is just a little warm up and then you can actually then choose and we'll go through all this type of data i know this can be overwhelming right now but real quick video today and actually tomorrow's video is going to be a challenge video that is a challenge that you'll run into uh when we do this so and then we'll pick back up uh tomorrow and then the following week and we'll just delve into this and we'll go slowly but surely like we always do make sure you're staying tuned until the end make sure that you're checking out the videos that will be popping up right Ooh, i got did that pretty good so as always guys thank you so much for watching i know this can be a lot so please drop any comments questions any video requests down below and as always guys thanks for watching stay tuned and i'll see you next time bye guys hey guys Thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us and we hope to see you next time. Bye guys.